I mean, I was, honestly, I didn't know what to think at the time. It was kind of one of those kind of caught off guard. You wouldn't expect it as, you know, incoming freshman. You had all kind of people in front of you. And it's just a very humbling, very, you know, just satisfying feeling, I guess you could say, you know, putting all the hard work and it, it's paying off. And not only for yourself, but and, and ultimately to make the team as best as you can Um, you know, I, you know, a few things bounce, bounce my way, a few injuries here, a few stuff, you know, to where I can get a chance to be able to play. You know, I shared time with uh, Peyton Pillow. He's very, very, very good running back. Uh, you know, he's just a different type of running back. He's a little bigger than me, so we just had different styles. But I thought we counted each other very well. And just fitting in, getting along with the guys, playing with the team, just made it the transition, I guess you could say, easy to be able to go out there. Like I told you, like I just mentioned, Peyton. He, uh, you know, he's a he just graduated this year, and I really looked up to him. He's been in the program since his freshman year. Uh, they, you know, he moved around positions, and his senior year, he uh, ended up being with the running backs with me. And uh, you know, looking up to him and looking through the three years of his college, and just knowing that how much work he's put in and how much it actually takes, you know, and that he completed it and achieved it and was able to come out with a degree. That's really the end, uh, the end goal. Wow. You know, coming into a new scene, new team, new everything, you just don't know what to expect. I, you know, no idea, no one, new to everybody, don't know anybody. Um, but, you know, next year, you know, I'm just going to go out there and train as hard as I can like I have been, go out there and just whatever take happens, happens. Yeah, yeah, whatever happens, happens, and ultimately get that conference championship. That's what matters. Yeah, of course. I guess, like like you just said, hard work, I think, does pay off. I think the harder you work, the more you'll be rewarded, whether it be right away or later on, not just in football and sports, but in life in general. I think the harder you work just in general, it'll pay off as opposed to just slacking and trying to make make it for you. Like, don't sit back and wait, but, you know, do what you can to better your life in, in anything, not just sports, I guess, in general. Okay. There's a change, uh, you know, going up early, like, you know, uh, in the summer, you know, my friends are still back home and I'm up there taking classes and uh, working out with the team, getting, them to, getting, them to, getting to know the guys. And uh, that was a big change. Uh, luckily, I'm not too far from home, so I was able to come home on the weekends. But once the season cranks up, it's full force, you know, you're, all your time is the football in school. And it was just a big adjustment, but it, it only took, you know, it took about two months, I'd say, to where I, before I was finally completely settled in and then got to know everybody, made a bunch of friends and started to enjoy it. I would, I would have to say taking the field against Oklahoma State. You know, even though the outcome wasn't what we wanted, but just taking the field out there and, uh, you know, being in front of 60,000 people, I think was just, you know, something you dream of as a, as a football player, just in general, no matter what age, you dream of playing in front of thousands of people. And I think that was you know, the biggest thing just to go out there and look around and see just the complete stadium just completely packed.